You're live now. All right, let me send, invite somebody. Here we go, indigenous choke. Send a request. So, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties with my recording lately. So today I'm gonna have indigenous choke come on, who is a native um, MMA fighter from, I'm not sure where. Um, but he's living in San Diego right now, so he'll be hopefully joining me shortly. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Hello. Um, yeah, so he should be joining me shortly and we'll have a discussion on hopefully a couple different topics. here soon. Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, man, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Oh, man, what a long day. We were supposed to start at 4. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, it's all good, dude. Shit happens. Super busy, yeah. Oh, uh, shit happens, man. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking for time out of your day to join me, man, and talk about some topics and get some stories out. Oh, appreciate that. Yeah, man. All right. So, like, uh, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and then tell us where you're from, you know what I mean, uh, what tribe you're from, if you grew up on a res or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, my name is Corey Pashlakai. Uh, I fight and train out of... Um, South Shore Jiu-Jitsu. I'm actually here right now. We're getting ready for some uh, 5.30 striking and grappling at 6.30. And then, uh, yeah, I'm from uh, the Navajo Nation. I'm full-blooded full blooded Navajo. Like nice. Dene. And uh, my four clans are Klidichini, uh, Totsoni, Kiani, and Tabahat. And uh, my family, like my mom's side, is she's from Indian Wells. And my dad's side of the family is from, uh, from Klagato. Just like okay. more up north, yeah. Hell yeah! All right, so I'm from uh, I'm from up Mendocino County. Um, I grew up on the Pomo Reservation. Um, I was adopted from day one of my life by a full-blooded Native American woman, and actually, I just um, did the 23 our ancestry thing. So we'll see if um, I find out anything of what I am. You know what I mean? I don't really know yet, but oh, yeah. I'm so oh. Yeah, I'm still pushing for native native voices to be out there, man. I don't, uh, you know, I don't care what I if I'm not technically native. I still grew up on the res, and I, I feel it in my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love. Yeah, brother, I feel you, man. It's like the medicine wheel, man. You know, we're all, we're all one nation, all of us together. You know? Exactly. We're but all, uh, we're all but th that's cool that you said Pomo though, because I literally that's where I used to live was in Santa Rosa, and I used to train with with Dave Terrell up there. The, uh, yeah, you, you heard of that? Yeah. Yeah, right Tyler. By, uh, the homie Tyler show, uh, sent me your page, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, he, he, and, he, he, I told him what I was doing. He immediately sent me your page. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tap in, definitely. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, Tyler's a good guy, man. He's he's Right now he's doing um for the We Defy Foundation, and they're doing, like, uh that whole thing with the veterans, like PTSD and how they're, you know, they're getting help through jujitsu too. Like, Super yeah. Super dope, man. Yeah, Tyler's a pretty cool ass dude. I love, it. and he's he's really good at jujitsu too, man. He has a pretty good leg lock game, you know. Yeah, he he's I I support him fully, man. I I I love watching everything he's doing. All right, let's jump into this. Um, how yeah. do you feel about natives getting more involved in like politics and stuff? I don't know if you follow politics much. Um, before I was kind of against it, but to be honest, I think uh, it's important for us to start getting changes in um, in just like um, for natives. You know what I mean? and to get changes in native in native country. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I'm not really too too knee deep into the hey, what's up, like, I'm like not too deep because I'm always at the gym. I'm always training. I'm always focused on like uh you know the, the next match or the next tournament and whatnot. Absolutely. But, uh, but you know it is very important for us to be involved, you know, because we we have to we see things like a lot differently than most people see them, you know. Especially, like, being born on the res, you know, I noticed that when I moved to the city, it's like, 
like my view of like seeing things is a lot different than most people you know and they always say man you're so grounded you're so like spiritual but it's like i feel like that's how we should all be you know because yeah. like when i grew up like i i learned how like i was i was born like in the hogan and you know like we were like always setting up the tippy always praying you know and then and then uh i remember my spirituality really woke up before it was, it was when uh i was working at dxl and um i quit my job and i went to standing rock like and i just went like fully submerged like into that whole thing you know what i'm saying and yeah and that's I'm when it made me realize how important uh you know it is for us to get to get involved with that because you know we know i feel like we know what's best for for our shamasana you know our, our mother earth our earth and uh you know we don't let the interest of money really get in the way of things absolutely how many days were you out of sandy rock man like the whole winter hell yeah so, man that was all the way all the way until like the military came and fucking kicked us all out i think it was like around february i think it was damn that was a long stay yeah that was and then that was some fucked up shit. They spray, sprayed you guys with some water, all kind of stuff, right? Yeah, bro. Like, it's crazy. I think about, I still think about shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You definitely and, uh, give you, like, some fucking PTSD or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it was right shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Bro, it's like, when I hear, like, loud bangs, like, I always think of, like, fucking spotlights and, like, fucking loud ass fucking waves and shit. And, like, I just have that image, like, it's always there, you know. I heard, but that. Uh, I, I feel like I don't have it as bad as other people, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I, I get, I get my, you know, through training, I get it all out. And absolutely, know, I, I, when I was up there too, I was very like, I knew I was up there for a purpose absolutely. to, uh, to the to protect my people. You know, because exactly. me as a me as a fighter, I, I know I could do my best. You know, I put myself on the line for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what got you into MMA? What got you into fighting and stuff? Oh man, well you know, I would always fight my cousins and my yeah. brothers growing up. So I was like, yeah, yeah. But uh, but what really, really got me involved with like MMA and jujitsu was um, I was two hundred and forty eight pounds, and I was like pre diabetic. You know, like diabetes runs big in like the native Absolutely. country. You know, growing up on like government rations and shit like that. You know, very bad, unhealthy food. Yeah, like the water is no good out there either. You know, so. Yeah, it's just, I was 248, pre-diabetic, and it was like a wake-up call for me, and the doctor, like, he was telling me, he was like, hey, if if you don't take care of your health now, you're going to be shooting, injecting yourself with insulin every day, and, you know, I would always think of, like, my grandpa and my grandma, like, they have to do that every day, so, yes. you know, I, I don't want that shit. I don't want to yeah. do that. I want to be, like, healthy, strong, and focused, and, um, yeah, and then I, I went to my first gym, and the weight just flew off, and... uh it felt really good, man, because at first I would just I would just be like in like LA Fitness or like one of the other gyms. Yeah. But uh but I just felt like it wasn't the same for me. Like I don't know, I would just be working out by myself, you know? Yeah. And uh I felt like I wasn't learning anything, like it wasn't feeding my soul like spiritually, you know? But when I got into the gym and you know, I'm surrounded by all these alpha males, all these fucking killers who could like who are also the nicest people like like, on, like minded on the people earth. too yeah they are very you know they're very they're very real they're very down to earth you know and and honestly the jiu jitsu people are like some of the nicest people i ever met in my life you know yeah and um yeah and it just it changed my life man and i just, yeah. i can't recommend anything like more than jiu jitsu like for like anything you know I think, yeah, I think it's uh, super important for Native youth to get involved in things like this because there's not, not much on the res. You don't need much to, you know, wrestle you. I mean, you need mats and stuff, but you can do it in the living room or whatever. You, like you said, you just need to do it with your cousins, or, you know? Yeah. You don't, you don't need much to train, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's actually, like, uh, one of my main goals, you know, with, when I get a black belt and I develop, you know, more into my career as, as like, a fighter or martial artist, that that's actually one of my main goals is to open up a gym like on my res and uh start like a non profit and yeah, yeah. you know just see where I can get things going for you know my people out there and absolutely because man I feel really blessed that being able to do what I can do and jujitsu's taking me places like all around the world you know and and you know it's it's really it gave me so much confidence you know like before I never would have thought that I could have went to like las vegas or like california and just 
for jujitsu for a tournament yeah. and go there to beat people up and to win and <laughs> and it's just like man it, it feels really good it's very yeah. empowering yeah and and like you said coming from the res like you used to fight your cousins for fun now you're doing it like actually having real fun going traveling places seeing people and represent for yeah. your tribe too you know what i mean yeah 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 and uh I'll tell you one of the coolest things that I've done is uh, to help spread the word of jujitsu. Is um, I did this run. It was like the longest walk, five point two, and it was with the American Indian Movement. Uh -huh. And that's ac that's actually how I found out about Dave Terrell's gym. I was in uh, our, our run was from Pier Thirty Three in San Francisco, all the way to like Washington D.C. and Santa Rosa was like on the way up there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just was like feeling really bad to choke someone out, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, and then I looked up the nearest jujitsu gym, and I found Dave Terrell's Academy, and that's when I moved down there, and I trained down there, and I got my purple belt from him. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, getting your purple belt from Dave is is no joke, you know. Like, you have to be really high high level, elite, and dedicated, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, and Dave's like one of the one of the best guys too, man. He's like, he's so nice, respectful, and he's always trying to like improve improve you as a person you know whatever it is you know like whatever you need help in he's cool and then and that's how i found these guys too like these guys at south shore the major twin brothers they're they're exactly the same man hell and, yeah man yeah they're, they're cool people man and that's really good you found your path man I'm, I'm really happy to hear that and um i think we need we need to encourage more people to do that find things like this as, as well you know what i mean and yeah this those is positive my outlets yeah, this is my this is my goal in doing this as well. You know what I mean? Because we've never met before, but this has brought us together, and like hopefully other people seeing this will, you know, help them come together with others. You know what I mean? Yeah, true that. Because that's that's my main goal is to not only like educate non-natives, but help each other educate on ourselves as well. You know? Yeah, and you know, there's like there's so much that uh, that we can do within our communities because I know that like. I ran to like res to res, you know, I've seen all these different tribes and, you know, most of them, like, trust me, th there's a lot of time on their hands and, yeah. you know, we could, we could make gyms and we could get that out there, you know, jujitsu could heal, you know, the country, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the native country. So. And, and I like that you, that you touched on eating healthier, you know what I mean? Cause um, yeah. I feel like uh, we need to get that out there as well. Cause we need to, need to drop the stigmatism of like, eating healthy or doing things like that is like being like white or selling out you know what i mean um, yeah because i think that's a lot of uh, at least on my res that was that was a big thing you know what i mean like if yeah you're that's that, you're you're white or you're selling out yeah uh my, my mom always told me it was like um you know we always want to feed our spirituality and but uh, there's also like the physical too like our bodies you know what i'm saying and our our mental mind and stuff and i, I feel like that's where i get all that it's like through working out and through my nutrition, you know, because what you put in your body is what you're going to get out. Yeah. You know? And uh, trust me, you're not going to get, you're not going to get nothing off of drinking hairspray or taking shots of Listerine or just yeah. alcohol, you know, it's like, yeah. that's just, that's really bad. Like I remember exactly. growing up, like that's what I saw, you know, my uncles, you know, they were wild man. <laughs> so, but that was also good because now I know, you know, not to do that, you know. Yeah, so. it took me. It took me a while. I mean, I, I mean, I never got that bad, but it took. You know, I would drink pretty heavily. You know what I mean? Every time, and it took me a while to realize that, like, that's not that's not what life's about. Um, yeah. Like recently, I just time buckled down and started focusing on like myself and healing myself because um, and finding myself like, like spiritually, mentally, and every, like physically as well. You know, because I, yeah. I lost myself for a little bit. H how about you, man? Do you train or what? No, dude, I'm, 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 I'm getting back into basketball and I'm trying to, trying to, I'm was talking to my friend about doing some kickboxing and stuff. I'm trying to get yeah, into yeah. No, man. I, I'm trying to do yeah, something yeah. other than sit around, you know? Yeah, I feel you, man. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah like, even, even hiking, bro. Like another thing I love is hiking or like mountain biking. Like, bro, that's yeah. amazing. I, I love it. Because like, like we said before, going and being around like <laughs> people, being around like other alphas, stuff like that is like. You know, it's fun because I I used to play basketball and stuff. I used to, you know, hoop and like that's that like kept the competitiveness, even though you're all there competing and like going hard. It's all like fun and fun. And like it's it's fun to get together and be, be part of that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And there's nothing more humbling than, you know, getting your ass beat. <laughs> that, that that will definitely, you know, it, it'll change you and improve you as a person. So 
like oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not like street fights or anything. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. Within like a professional manner, you know, at a gym, you know, like with people who are on the same, you know, level as you. But absolutely, you're not just yeah, out yeah. Just going wild. Yeah, there. yeah, not like that. No, no. Yeah, a controlled, a controlled uh, setting for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, do you tr practice any like aspects of like your culture or anything like that, like dancing or anything like that? Um, is it and is there anything that you would like to share with others like going forward? Well, yeah, I'm definitely no, uh, what I learned from like growing up, you know, is always just like, you know, to -e -e -na, like water is life, you know, and it's just like my ceremonial ways, like even just like last week, you know, we set up, um, we set up our tippy and we prayed, you know, I finally went back home to my homeland. Yeah. And I, I laid down some prayers and our, and we had that tippy for like four generations, you know? Wow. Yeah. It's the same tippy we had for four generations, the same fireplace. You know, all in the same spot. And I got to be there with my grandma. And it's crazy now because even, like, my little nephews who are little, you know, uh -huh. they're, the one, they're the ones who are, like, helping me set up the tipi, you know, and helping me. And it's just, like, it's so cool because I remember, like, my uncle and my grandma teaching us. That's what And they were doing about, it. Man. Yeah. It's like, wow. Like, each, teaching each generation, you know what I mean, keep it going, to keep it going, you know what I mean, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. And just, like, setting up, tying the drum, you know, like. I'm still learning how to do that. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and, yeah. and I've I've been around that drum like my whole life, so it's like, yeah, it's uh, a, are uh, are people getting vaccinated drum. out in uh, Navajo country? Is what are people getting vaccinated out there, or do you know if it's a? Uh, you know what? I am pretty sure that they are. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I can't really speak for everybody there because I'm not really living there. Yeah, but, yeah, you're right. You know, but I, I know that there was a big uh, scare within the Navajo Nation about the whole COVID thing and how we were like, we had, we were like the most affected in like yeah. the whole U.S. and stuff like that, you know, and, and instead of sending us like medical supplies, they sent us like a whole bunch of body bags, you know. And, and yeah. like, it, it's like, we're one of the biggest things in COVID, you're supposed to wash your hands. And like you said, no clean running water. How are they supposed to wash your hands with no clean running water? Yeah. Washing your hands with like freaking fracking water, you know? Ex exactly. The yeah, water yeah. is uh, disgusting. Like, it's, you're not The water is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the water out there is like, we, we use that for like, for livestock or like uh, our plants, you know, like yeah. farming and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely not drinking water out there. I wouldn't yeah, know. I mean, but when I was younger, I, I did, I did drink out of it. You know, I did, I did drink out the hose. So, oh, know, out of the well, you would pump it. <laughs> Damn, that's that? wild. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, am I lagging? Um, and I had one more question that I didn't send you. Um, how do you feel about Native American uh, mascots being used, like um, the the Washington team just changing their name and stuff like that? You know, I, I I can't even. I didn't even hear what your question was. Because um, oh, it's like, how, do, how do you feel about? It's like all. Uh, how do you, it's not good signal. Um, uh, how do you feel about native uh, mascots being used? Did you did you, you, you keep cutting out a little bit on your end? Could you hear me? Hello. Uh, he keeps cutting out a little bit, so hopefully we'll get him back right now. Uh, okay. So... Uh, so he looks like his service cut out. So hello everyone. So we had some. Uh, looks like his service cut out, but I'll send him another invite. So hopefully we'll have him back. So hopefully we'll have him back. If he doesn't come back, um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and pop them through. If anyone wants to come on um and answer some questions and have a discussion that'd be dope um just hit me up in my dms um i'm gonna give him a couple more minutes to try to come on if not um i'm gonna pop off
What's up, what's up? Hello, LG. Um, so yeah, we'll give him a couple more minutes. Yo, what's up? Oh, uh, okay, we're back, we're back. <laughs> All right, so I was asking, how do you feel about native mascots being used? Oh, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know where that we're not mascots, so. Yeah, absolutely. And, and especially the way they interpret it is even, like, you know, it's the worst, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, it, so, yeah, it, I'm, not, I'm not for that, for sure. It, it's, it's portraying, like, natives, like, they don't exist anymore. You know, it's – um, but, yeah, it's – it's um, all of them got to go. Um, obviously, Washington started it, but they, it's not like they wanted to, you know what I mean? Um, and a couple others have to go. Um, I know a bunch of, like, high school teams use them and stuff like that, but it's yeah. hard, man. Um, it's really hard because they, they think it's honoring it, but it's, like, the exact opposite. Yeah, and especially, like, even when you go to, like, um, sometimes, like, on Halloween, like, there's, like, costumes and shit. I'm like, oh, bro, don't do that. Don't be that guy. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I'll, t- I'll, I'll ask him to take that shit off, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, yeah um, that's, that's all the questions I have for you. Um, if you have any questions or you wanted to shout out anybody or anything you're doing, you know what I mean? Check if you want people to check oh, yeah. it out. So I actually have a, a, a fight coming up on UFC Fight Pass. It's uh, the UWC, and it's going to be in uh, Mexico, Tijuana. So be sure to look on that. Keep an eye out for that. And um, also, I want to give a shout-out to the gym that I've been training at. And these guys are really good. They've been looking after me. Some solid fucking jiu-jitsu here. Hell, yeah. And uh, we actually got a Muay Thai class going on right now. So everybody go give them a follow. Check yeah, them out. yeah. And then... Uh, Right here, this is uh, one of my professors right here, Ronnie. What's up, brother? What up, what up, what up? Thanks for coming on. How's it going? Good, how are you? Thanks for joining us, man. We're having a discussion about Native topics. About what? About Native American topics. Oh, this is my man right here. (laughs) Hell yeah. Hey, these guys, man, they've been looking out for me. And my boy right here, Sean. All right, right on, man. We'll we'll, we'll go give you guys a follow. I'll rub it down. Hell yeah, you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Have a good one. Oh, uh, I was probably going to hear it because they got the music blasting yeah, right I know. now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you loud. for coming, it's man. Pretty, everybody's going to hear you. Show. Yeah, um, that's all I have for you. Um, thank you for joining me, man. I super appreciate it. Oh, uh, you keep cutting out. Yeah, thanks for joining me, man. I super appreciate it. Thanks for taking your time out and uh, really appreciate everybody uh, joining us. You know what I mean? Hello? All right. uh, So he's um, cutting out. Thank you, everyone, that joined and watched. Um, if anybody wants to come on, like I said, tap in. Um, we're going to be having more Native topics, hopefully. And if you want to keep watching these, I'm going to post them, and then I'll post them to YouTube as well. And remember, keep following your heart. And, um, yeah, just keep following your heart. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>